Hello everybody, and this is Barbara, and I am actually doing a Barbie review. And I am doing this because it is still Christmas. It is now the 12 days of the Orthodox Christmas. So this is why I am still doing this and not holding on to this until next year. This is the Barbie 12 Days of Christmas set. It is celebrating the 160 years of FAO Schwartz toys, and it is a Barbie signature. Before I get into the actual set, I would like to take a moment to tell Mattel to <laughs> you and <laughs> off um, because there were many of us who ordered this set in good faith in October and were promised that it would get here in time for us to do it as a Christmas review and you lied. You, I understand that initially sold out, fine. But then I had a commitment from Mattel that it was going to ship in honor around December 2nd. It did not. They gave priority to the stock that had to go to Target. And I did not have at the time the ability to cancel my order with Barbie Signature and then try to grab it at Target. I just didn't want to take the chance that I would cancel it at Signature, miss it at, miss it at Target, and then be really out of luck. So, thank you, Mattel, for screwing up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of Bar any chance Barbara ever had of getting free stuff from Barbie Signature. I am so sad. Not. So, this is- the whole box looks like um, an old-fashioned record label. By the way, down here it tells me there were more than no more than 20,000 of these worldwide. And if you think about all the times I've read from Integrity Toys or from Meezy no more than 5,000 worldwide, this really goes back to, hello, this is Mattel. So, it is the most wonderful time of the year to be a hostess, sometimes, unless you get like totally crazy at Christmas. Reveal one vintage-inspired surprise a day over 12 days and host a festive soiree with the Barbie doll. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And as we know, some people have a harder time pulling out than others. Yes, she actually said that, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube, YouTube don't cancel me. So the first day of Christmas our true love gave to us the actual Barbie doll. Um, I thought she would be a silk stone um, because she looks like one but evidently she is not and let me very quickly uh, set her free. Let me talk first about this stand because I've never seen this kind of stand before. This appears to be a stand that is going, that is first of all appears to be slanted, so I hope that it hasn't bent. Um, but it appears to be that it's going to peg her right into the, gr it's supposed to peg right into the shoe. Okay, so I will do that in a second. Let's go ahead and talk about the doll. It feels it does have the soft feel of a silk stone, but I remember the silk stones and they were not this light. So I don't know if this is like half silk stone, half something else, but she is lovely. Um, really, Mattel? Couldn't spring for the pearls? Plastic, don't even, not even trying that hard to look like pearls. Red pumps. Um, for some reason, the belt is coming off on the back, and I don't know why. I think I think they I think it was sewn together, and then oh, I think it's it's really. I'm gonna have to be very careful when I take this off. So I'm not gonna take this off because it looks like the belt is coming apart, at least on mine. Big snaps, which I appreciate. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I don't appreciate a big snap. So she does not. She is. She does have a petticoat. Let me lift her up and away from the camera. She does have panties, so this is, that's very nice. And of course you have that vintage, very nice, soft, very surprised that it's this nice and soft fur. Very nice 
bow detailing as well. Now let's see what happens when I peg her into this. How is this going to work? Okay, so the pegs actually give her quite a bit of height and absolutely no balance. Let's try this again. Um, so clearly this is meant to go like this, that one foot goes in front of the other. And there is... I don't know how this is supposed to work, but there is... She's not balancing on this. You are not going to get her to balance on this. So I don't know if my stand is defective or what. But luckily, because Mattel, I had a backup. Always have an escape plan. Inside door number one, it is lined like a red flannel or a black, red, and yellow flannel. And I guess what I, I guess what I like about this, and it's not a guess, I do like about this, is that you do get the chance to reuse this. And if you're if you do doll clubs or if you do other things, you can always put another doll and other ensembles in here. Day two, same lining in the back in the box. Day two is the picture frame. Now, I probably should have gotten a pair of scissors for this. And I will get up in a second and get the scissors. But this is supposed to be her and Ken in a frame. Um, Automatic fail for me because you can't put in a different picture. The picture is a sticker. It is stuck inside. The frame is nice, so you would. Ha this is not like Remint where you could put in a different picture. And eh. automatic fail. Minus five points. Okay, so day three is a big box. So let's see what's in here. Day three is one of the reasons why I wanted this set, and I will tell you why. If you have parents that are the same age as my parents, you had one of these in your house. Either your mom or your grandma or your dad and his dad, they made these. These are really, this is plastic. But if you are of that age group, you know that these would be ceramic, the light bulbs would be real glass, and somewhere in here, there would be a plug, and this would light up. This is one of the reasons why I wanted this set, was to have that in the 1-6 scale. And I'm going to hold it up to Barbie's leg in a second to show you. I'll put it in front of her, and this is supposed to be the little skirt for it, which is a nice, really nice touch. Mine would act, the one I have is actually a little bit shorter than that because the, with the star, it wouldn't come up that high. But this is about the right size and the right scale for how it would actually look if you had one of these vintage trees. So that that's that's very cool that Mattel thought to include that. Are they forgiven? No, they are not. Day four. <laughs> are they forgiven? No, they are not. Uh, day four is, I guess we're going to make a list. We're going to check it twice. We're going to find out who's naughty and nice. There is a pencil... Uh, Christmas 1959 Toys, F.A.O. Schwartz. I was about to say, why didn't they do the Sears Wish Book, but this is an F.A.O. Sh set, so that's why they didn't do that. Also included in here, but by the way, somebody told me this to save me from myself. If you are again around my age, which is mid-40s, um, and the Sears Wish Book is sacred to you, 
I don't know if somebody took the time to download them or Sears Roebuck did this. You can now get them as PDFs. So you can download them, you can have them, you can shrink them down presumably and give your dolls a Sears wish book. Greetings from Santa to Barbie. Happy holidays. Love, Ken. So here is her list of the people that are getting Christmas presents from her. Ken, Skipper, Midge, Alan, Scooter, Ricky, and Francie. Uh, bad luck for you, Mom and Dad. You're not. You've been on. You're on the naughty list. How can you not get your parents' presents, Barbie? Come on. Not cool, Barbie. Not cool at all. Oh, on the fifth day of Christmas, Barbie gave to me a record. Uh, so these are different Christmas songs. There is a record in here. Hang on. reach in. I will remove the record. It says Barbie on it and I'm old. Not sure what this says. Uh, let me see if I can get it with my camera. No, I can't. So I literally do not know uh, what is on this. So if anybody knows, I apologize. But very nice. Solid record in here. Okay, so that's day five. Let's take a look at day six. Day six is yet another joy that we still do to this day. All of us, vintage or otherwise, it is the gingerbread house. The nice thing about this is when Rement does their gingerbread houses, they tend to be very small. And if you want to get someone to do this in the 1-6 scale, somebody like Dawn of 1-6 Cents or Chef Gina's, they're going to, they correctly, and let me say this again, correctly, will charge you about 100 to $150. So this to get, but they would also have the gumdrops, they'd have some colors. So for plastic and not a whole lot of detail it's nice to have this in the set day seven is a present what is in the present we don't know can the present open we don't know see is another exciting question um it does not appear the present opens unless this is a puzzle box I don't think it is. I don't think this... don't think this opens? I mean, I kind of want to think it does because of this, but I don't think it does. I, I think these... I, it might be two pieces of plastic, and I'm about to break it all, so I'm not going to chance it. Day 8 is her Santa... Is it a stock? No, I take it back. It's a stocking. It is not a Santa hat. This would perfectly go on any 1-6 scale mantle you would have. The fur is soft. This is red felt. Very cute. Day 9 is a very cute, and I can already tell from here, very plastic teddy bear. With the red ribbon. I mean, I get why they probably didn't want to use the felt. Day 10. Wow. So, I guess as I'm cutting this open, this would be a really good time for me to say that this is the power of Mattel. That, as I said, somebody like Chef Gina or um, Don Anderson 1-6 cents doing pieces like this, this would easily cost you 75, 100 bucks. 
Mattel can include it in a in a set like this and it would be relatively cheap because yeah, you know I, I paid I paid what I paid for this I'll put that in the description below um, but you know they can also do this and put it all out by the way this is if if Dawn or Serafina did it this would either be plastic or china and these would be much more feeling like cookies much less feeling like plastic day 11 is the rest of the serving set so you would presumably put you would presumably also know how to open a plastic bag. You would presumably know how to do this. And then you would, I guess you'd put the plate on one end and the cups on the other. Yes, that's going to fit, and I'll hold that up in a second. Again, um, oh, okay, this is, I don't have to cut, okay. These are very cute. These alone would be $50 from, and correctly because they would be doing the sculpts themselves if they're proprietary sculpts. Now, I don't feel like, well, let me try. Let's see what, this is the part where Barbara cries. Do, 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 do. So first of all, because she's on an angle, I don't think this is gonna work out. But presumably, you're supposed to be able to do this with her hands, and it would stay. Or you would use tacky tape. I am not doing either. The end. Um, and then we get to day 12. Uh, but before I do that, I want to just very quickly do a quick search, because I could have sworn this came with a record player. I could be completely nuts. We know I am completely nuts. So, um... I just want to do a quick check and make sure that I've gotten everything. Not that I'm greedy, but I could have sworn this came with a record player. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm insane. Uh, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, maybe you're just a girl from Tupelo. Okay. So, again. Um, no, I guess it didn't come with the record player. It just comes with the record Okay, so then 12 is going to be, I believe, yes. Now, why they made 12 this big of a box, well, I think I know, to put the dress in, uh, when they could have just put the dress in with day one, I do not know. Um, it is, I, I'm going to, obviously I'm going to talk more about the dress once I'm liberated. I may, I, I'm tempted to put her in it just so you can see her in it. My concern is again, back to what I was concerned about when I first took the doll out, which is the belt coming off on the back. So let me talk about the dress first. Um, it is not lined. There, or you could argue, well, there's a little bit of netting tool here, but it's not lined, really. It's gold embroidery. It's nice. The pearls are going to go with it. Uh, could have sprung, even for, like, cheap gold plastic shoes, could have sprung for that. They didn't. Um, so I'm going to, I'll put her in the dress. I will put her in the dress. And we will find out right now what is going on here if I can, in fact, save the belt. Okay. And while we're doing that, we're going to have our Christmas miracle, Delilah Bijou, come for a visit. Delilah, how do you feel about Mattel? What, what are your thoughts about Mattel? Do you have any thoughts about Mattel?
she's the most wonderful cat of them all. She has a job, by the way. Delilah, Delilah is a working cat. She has a job. She works for the Biden administration. She works for First Paws. She is one of their ambassadors. And she officially her title is Office Pauperation. She she gets all the boxes because because as a cat she loves boxes, but she also promotes adopting black kitties. Adopt shop. So I think the petticoat has to come off. Although I would like I'm going the petty ooh petticoat with velcro so I'm gonna I'm going to put the dress on PS by the way like Barbies do not usually make dolls that have hands that come off like Newsy and integrity so inevitably you know that they're either gonna give you dressing gloves or you hope they do or very surprisingly ladies and gentlemen um, it's a very tight fit in the back. I'm very surprised by this. It's a very tight fit. They should there should be a little a lot more give in the back. They are asking for trouble and they may get it. I I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to put the petticoat back on. But we'll see. Oh. Now, it also might be that I'm completely wrong and you shouldn't have the petticoat on with this dress. But, all things vintage, you always had the undergarment, so we will see. No, actually, I was wrong. The petticoat is longer than the dress, so you wouldn't put the petticoat on underneath unless you wanted that tooling at the bottom. But the petticoat, a petticoat, even a shorter one, can go on underneath if it closes with Velcro. But again, very surprised by how tight this is in the back. Folks, do you get this set if it is still for sale? Um, well, at this point, if you are orthodox, which many people in the world are, sure, get it. Go ahead and get it. Um, and enjoy it. I mean, and enjoy it. It is the accessory. You're getting this, I would say. You would be getting this for the cr for the accessories. The doll is nice. It had and if you are and I think you can probably hear it in my voice. Not never this Barbara has never been a fan. This Barbara first of all has never allowed anyone to call her Barbie, and this this Barbara um, has never been a fan of the vintage sculpt of the sculpts from the nineteen fifties and 60s and the first person who tells me that the 1980s are now considered vintage dies um it's 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 a nice doll i'm i'm appreciative of the buttons i am surprised by how tight uh these are and i am not loving the fact that even though i took it on i put it on rather easily i cannot get the dress back on and I'm not going to push it because I like this dress. Uh, so I'm putting her back in the gold. Which should have had extra pumps. I am not happy that Mattel really did not do right by a lot of us who bought this set and wanted it for the 12 days and didn't get it. I mean, what if I had planned to use this and to do this as my review? Now, as you all know, if you've been watching my shorts in December, you know I had a different 1-6 scale advent calendar this year. And my plan was always to start doing this on December 26th. Now, as it turned out, I was exhausted uh, by the end of December, so I'm glad on... I am personally glad I didn't have the obligation to do it because I was exhausted. Um... But it would have been nice to have it. So, and to have the option to, to have done it. If you can still find it and you feel like waiting the year. What have I just done? Have I just de-virginized her? Um, God. YouTube, don't cancel me, please. As Junkman says, YouTube, don't cancel me, please. 
Please, YouTube, don't cancel me. Uh, you know what? I can't even get this saddle stand on here. Here we go. Um. Okay. Do you get her? Um. So ultimately, my final thought is: if you want to get her, and you want to hold her for next year, you just want to get her, or you can get her because it's no longer the holidays and you can get her half price go for it absolutely go for it um but otherwise i'm gonna have to say you see i can't even say that i was gonna say don't get this but there's enough of this that i like this is a case where this is this is basically made to be parted out if you like the vintage sculpt doll and you like her and you like the outfits then get everything um then get the whole set if you just want the accessories i'm sure by now it should be pretty easy to part out all the accessories that should be pretty easy to do at this point you might want to do that um and as i said there is some playability here with the box that if you want to get the box and then you can use it and do all sorts of really great things with it with your doll club like you could put little treats in it for next year absolutely get it um but and if you can get it and you want to get the whole thing absolutely do that too you can absolutely get the whole thing i, I think it's worth it um but I, it's not going to change the fact that i am really annoyed that for those of us in good faith who wanted to have this and wanted to be able to talk about it during the holidays, the, 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 the not orthodox Christmas holidays, we couldn't. So for me, Barbara, and for Barbie, don't ever call me Barbie, I will see you in my next review, which is going to be very different. It's going to be an action figure. We're going to bring the men on for a while. And I'm going to try to get us back to Miniature Mondays, too. So, everybody, take care. And to those of you who are celebrating uh, Orthodox Christmas, the world is with you. We love you. Stay well and enjoy the holidays as best as you can. Take care. Bye-bye.